Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Voyager Elite Force 2 playthrough. So we're now going on to the hull of the ship. Now unfortunately this Lieutenant next bit the is probably the most difficult part of the entire game and it's incredibly frustrating. First of all, we've got to get rid of these guys. I would highly advise using the sniper because these guys have got some spacesuits on and I think they have some weird shielding. They're tougher than normal ones. <laughs> there he goes. Bye bye. So we need to use the tricorder on three of these or the ship will be destroyed. Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. The Idril must not gain control of the Enterprise. Snipe. Oh, missed. Oh, that guy's too lucky. Got yeah. If anybody played Quake 3 Arena, you'll be right at home here. The Idro have breached our level 3 security protocols. You must hurry. Okay. Has a bit of a um, first contact vibe to it, this level, doesn't it? Even the music. Okay, there's two of them in there. And if they hit you, you'll go flying. This is the problem. Oh, see? Use the eye mod. There we go. There we go. Our weapon systems are still offline. We have enough power to activate the auxiliary pulse phaser batteries, but you will have to Now, I hate to say it, but this next bit you're going to find incredibly frustrating if it's the first time you've done it. It's taken me at least an hour or two, maybe an hour, to um, do this. So most important thing is you've got to target the big ship where it tells you to, but don't hurt the ship too much because if you destroy the ship, its mission failed. You can ignore the pink projectiles. Here we go, so we've got a target where it tells you. Now these orange projectiles that it fires, you must stop them, otherwise the Enterprise will be destroyed and it'll be mission failed. It's a bit unfair really, so they can destroy us but we're not allowed to destroy them. We can only disable them. It's quite a frustrating level, this. If you right click, it also fires what may be like a quantum torpedo type thing. I would only advise doing that on the orange projectiles as like a last resort. So if you, like I just missed one then. If it's too late, hit it and it will take it out. There we go. One. One. Just focus on the orange projectiles. They take priority over everything. Those ships, it doesn't matter how many of them you destroy, they just keep coming back, so don't waste your time with those. If you can, take out the, the pink projectiles, but only if you can. Oh, sugar. Okay, we've got to be careful here because if you look at the capital ship integrity, it's um, not doing too well, neither are we. Here we 
we go. Let's be careful. Yes. Okay, so we got that. So I think there's just one more side we need to get it on now. As long as we don't get destroyed in the process. Or destroy them. I used the um, quantum torpedo thing then, and it saved me. So be careful here. The Enterprise can withstand the um, purple stripes by itself, really. But if your shields go, it can't. Oh, here we go. Got it! Whew. I have attempted that on more than one occasion. Nicely done, Lieutenant. Assemble your team and protect the Atrexian colony on Tarabar 7. Okay. So now we're going to go straight down on an away mission. Lieutenant Monroe, your team is to assist the colonist in any way possible. Okay. Right. I've got to be honest, I'm not a fan of the worlds on this game. They're all dark and brown and the aliens aren't very interesting. Okay, so here we go. Got the Ori staff weapon still. This thing's ace. Right. Trying to remember where the first secret is. It's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, we can't use that yet. Replenish with ammo and health if you need it. Okay, so the door's always blocked. Go to your integrity view and you can see there. Go to shoot with a phaser. Still blocked. Now, go down this ladder, carefully, it's under here and around the corner, I think. Yep, there it is. How do we open the door? There's another control panel in the landing pad tower. We need to access that panel and this one simultaneously. Up we go. So now we need to go back to the um, control room that we were just in a minute ago. Okay. Whoa. Right. Be careful here. Jump. Time it right. There's another one. Cover me. There's another one. This door is also malfunctioning. I am not okay. impressed. Go through here. They could learn from the Klingons. Really? Ah, now you might have just noticed I've just opened that in the floor, the which is also a hidden area. Chang, keep this area secure while I scout ahead. Normally that doesn't happen, but I, I just accidentally did that. But yeah, just shoot the floor basically, and you can get that ammo. There are air vents here. Uh, we're going to be in for a bit of a fight on this next bit. Whoa! Hello to the Ori! Look at that! Fortunately, this guy's like a boss. There we go. Now we've got those weird butterfly things. Hits. Okay. Award for the 
worst voice actor of the week goes to that guy. Get some health again. Is any left? Yep, there is. Good. Right, now there's a secret up here. If we jump up here, turn around, and we get up onto that ledge, and carefully lower down. Right. Oops. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is, the doorway over here. Jump across. And there's our first golden starship. Go up here. Atrexians must be using a similar security system here. Monroe, you'll need to find an Atrexian engineer to help you activate the doors. Found one. Although he doesn't look too well. Gosh. He was tough. Oh no. I think he's supposed to be alive. Whoops, wasn't it being quick enough? Okay. Here's something. Oh, it's one of those butterfly things again. Man. Okay, um, if you jump inside here, there's another secret. Pretty sure he's supposed to be alive. <laughs> Whoops. Help! Help! Now there's one. Thank the fates. They have been attacking for three days. Do you have an army? You might say that. I'll need an Atrexian engineer to help me open the doors to the city. I'm a service technician. I might be able to. Come on. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.